going up, the club going up on a Tuesday. Oh, oh, this is a very good day. Hey, this is a very good day. Oh, this shit. Bands make her day. How the fuck am I gonna drink this? Look at this shit, hold on. How the fuck? Uh. These cheeks clapping and they ain't using hey. So you guys want a 600 as your first bike, huh? Huh? So you want a 600, huh? Well guess what? Fucking go for it. This is my first bike, Yamaha R6 2009. Um, look at that, 24,875. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's got a lot of miles on it. I picked it up for 6,300. And um, it was a great fucking buy. And you know, so many people are like, no, don't get a 600 as your first bike, don't do that, it's fucking crazy. <laughs> no, if you want a 600, because you know you're going to get bored on a 250, go for it. Please, save yourself the money, because you're going to buy a 250 and get bored. And then immediately, you know, be like, ah, shit, and, and you're going to be wasting money, because you're going to have to spend more money to get another bike. Um, you know, a, a little bit of a leader bike. This isn't even a leader bike. This is a 600, but you know what I mean. So, no, if you want a 600, go for it. By all means, get yourself a 600. Um, there's nothing scary about it. It really isn't, you know, at first when I got this bike and rode around a little bit, I was like, ah, it was kind of scary because it's a lot of power. I mean, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's not a shit ton of power. It's not the fastest 600, but, um, it's there's a lot of power and uh, that can be intimidating to some people so if you're scared of the power you know if you're really actually scared of the power wave to the scooter see what he says yep he said what's up <laughs> if you're actually scared of the power then you know don't then you know don't don't get it if you're actually really scared you know deep down you're concerned that you don't that you think it's going to be too much for you and uh, you know it is too much for some people but for me, I love riding. It comes naturally to me. I'm not really scared of, you know, I don't want to say I'm fearless, but <laughs> I'm not scared of much. And um, I've my, my dream since I was a little kid was to get a fucking, you know, a Yamaha R6. So um, that dream coming true when I got this bike was absolutely amazing. So of course I skipped the 250 and I went for the 600. It's just, I, you know, I don't want to waste my time and money on the 250 when I can learn on the 600, the bike that I actually want. And, you know, and I can learn on this bike and I won't get bored of it right away, you know? I'll get used to it and I'll love it and I already have. I'm in love, man. There's absolutely nothing you know, there's nothing better. If your dream is to own a 600, get one as your first bike. That's that's fine, you know? Get one as your first bike and, you know, get used to it. And I promise you, you're gonna love it. But now, if, if you're, you know, you're, you're kind of scared and uh, you really don't ride that well and, you know, you took the MSF course and you didn't do that well or whatever, then, you know, go for the 250 and learn that way. Um, but what I did with this bike is I took it to parking lots. I rode around in my neighborhood for the longest time. Um, I, did, I did a lot of practice. Actually, uh, I won't say a lot because I practiced for one day and then I took it on the street. Um, so I really didn't do as much practicing as I should have. But uh, I, it, it's when you feel comfortable. And I felt comfortable. I manned up. Ow, fuck. <laughs> I, I felt comfortable. I manned up. And... Uh, I took it out on the street, and you know, I did great. I did fine. I wasn't wasn't scared. Um, really wasn't scared at all, and you know, that's that's not a good thing because you should have fear when riding a bike. You should never think you know everything and that everything's gonna be okay. Because then, you know, something's gonna happen. You're you're gonna be way too comfortable. Confidence is key. Trust me, confidence is absolutely key. 
but you're gonna be way too comfortable and um, you know do some stupid shit and slip up and you know injure yourself so just be smart be safe think that everyone is out here to kill you and uh, you'll be fine so what are my final thoughts thoughts if you want a 600 your dream is to have a 600 and you plan on getting the 600 eventually you know after you learn on your 250 then fuck the 250 you're gonna waste time you're gonna waste time and money on the 250 you're gonna waste time and money on the 250 when you could be learning on your dream bike so are you hot baby she's hot she's hot <laughs> she's hot fucking Camaro coming up fast <coughs> 221 uh. so yeah if your dream is to have a 600 and you know you, you plan on getting a 600 after you've learned on your 250 then get the 600 and learn on it what the fuck then get the 600 and learn on it. Trust me, you won't regret it, and you will save time and money. So I support getting a 600 as a first bike. You know, absolutely. Do I support a 1000? That's another story. Um, what the hell's wrong with my hand? Look at that shit. Um, I would say no to the 1000, because that's those bikes are crazy, man. You know, learn, learn on 600 for a year or two before you want to step up to that. I do know people that have gone to 1000s, you know, as their first bike, but that's really not that smart. So get your 600, learn, get comfortable, and then, you know, go for the 1000 or whatever. Also, one thing I wanted to talk about is if, do you, you know, like putting your foot down at stops. Um, if you go to sit on a bike, the one that you want, and uh, you can't put both feet completely down, you know, you're like, you got to tiptoe it or something don't be worried about that man the bike is going to sit upright you're going to be fine on your tiptoes when i'm like this i can't really flat foot it but if i put one foot up on a peg my right foot is completely flat footed and uh, it's actually really comfortable so you're not really going to worry about uh I, like i said i'm 510 and I, I can't flat foot both feet when i you know um, but I'm extremely comfortable. I've, I've never even come close to dropping it, stopping, or anything like that. So um, take that in as a factor. Don't really worry about that. If you are worried about that, go for something other than an R6 because R6s are pretty much the ones that don't fit everyone. I sat on the CBR and I could flat foot that thing perfect. The jigs are perfect. Um, pretty much any bike but the R6. So, but I love the R6. It's my favorite bike. So you know, go for that, motherfucker. So thank you guys so fucking much for watching. I love you. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like and uh, subscribe. It'd be awesome. Many more moto vlogs to come. I actually plan on doing daily, but uh, I don't know how that's going to work. Should be fine, but uh, let's see if this kid wants to race. No, I guess not. <laughs> he just stared at the bike. So if you enjoyed this, like I said, please leave a like. It would mean a bunch to me, and I would love you and kiss you so much on your face. And and uh, subscribe because there's many more to come. If you uh, want to request a vlog or a topic, go ahead and uh, leave that comment and I will try to get to it. Um, so thank you guys so much. And uh, as always, Hail Hydra. Cheer! He looked. <laughs>